Bienvenido razas a un nuevo video de No Offers Sin Ofertas Vamos a reaccionar a Chupo G Peggy G, Selena Gomez y Kiro G Yeah, they dropped a new song, you saw? Or Gennady Golovkin Gennady Golovkin No, we're reacting to Triple C, CCC Remix. Apparently it's a remix, so mm -hmm. I don't know, no sé si he escuchado la primera canción o no. By who? Michael Maciel? O Michelle Maciel? Michelle. Miguel, Miguel Maciel. Eden Muñoz, right? Oh, yeah. Eden Muñoz. Eden Muñoz. He's from Calibre 50, right? Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. Or he was from Calibre 50. Mm -hmm. And Panther. Norteño before that. Y Panther Bélico from Grupo Arriesgado. Mi compa yes. Panther Bélico. I wanna see, yeah, I mean, I wanna see this. <laughs> Oye, y que te digan las SS. <laughs> okay. ¿La qué? Quiero poner casa, carro y chofer. Oh. Would you ever give a uh, Ramo Buchon? Yeah, but it's the right one. Damn. I can already imagine myself pulling up. I got what no sinita. Agarro mi compa. <laughs> the, the guy I've done uh -huh. singing videos with. Uh -huh. Agarro mi compa. Nos vamos a cantar hoy de la sinita. A Ramo Buchon. What would you be your go-to? Like, do you have a specific one? Like, obviously, there's like the old roses one, with or like a colorful one, like pink roses, blue roses, even black roses. They and they look pretty. What would you say would be your go-to, Ramo? I think it depends on the girl. But okay, what would be your safe option? Because I'm pretty sure any any kind would be. Yeah, great. but I feel like there would be some girls you would give maybe like mm -hmm. light blue, light pink. True, true. Uh, uh, rosas. Uh -huh. As opposed to someone that I would do maybe a purple and black rosas, you know? Oh. So I feel like the vibe of the girl really depends, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I feel like if I had to do a safe option, mm -hmm. I'd probably do red. Uh -huh. Sprinkle maybe like three white, three white on top. Uh -huh. And then my personal touch. Okay. Um, a sunflower. Sunflowers and roses? You can never go wrong with those. My personal touch. They're nice, yeah, yeah. What were you wanting your Ramuchon? Unos um, billetitos de 100. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Unos chocolatitos. No, I'm just kidding. I don't mind. Like, honestly, like, the roses are already fine, you know? So. I don't know why, but I already knew it. She's going to say money for sure. Um, But yeah, because they're pretty. They're all pretty. Any ro like any Ramuchon is pretty. They started selling Ramuchones in La Frontera. Like really? in la línea para cruzar, yeah, they started selling Ramos Buchones. Did you ever ask how much? No. Nah. They're probably expensive, huh? Nah, probably oh. cheaper than here, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, true. Yeah. Dude, this song is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Te quiero poner casa, carro y chofer. Damn. I was going to say the crown. Gives it a good touch. Yeah, I was gonna say, be bien compa de tu papá. Like I feel like that's the go-to move, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's kind of like for the girls trying to get along with the suegra, you know. The guy will always try to get along with the yeah suegro. with the suegro. Um, I just think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, you think that's a way for a guy to become like best friends with your dad? What the. Well, yeah, the way you treat the girl. Yeah? Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like, um, I think it, it depends, you know? Because I remember, um, you know, Franco's Camilla, the comedian? 
Yeah. I think he was homies with with the dad before he, he, he started him. dating the, the, the daughter. Girl. Yeah. Even though him and the daughter are like the same age, they right. went to like the same high school and uh-huh. stuff. But I think he was like really cool with the dad before mm-hmm. before he started dating the girl and stuff like that. So he, he, he already he, had one. He had a head had, start right there. Yeah, he had a head uh-huh. start. He already had it done. Uh-huh. Uh, so I think that was like really... That was probably his whole plan this whole time. No, he said that he was actually feeling kind of weird that... um. That he was, he felt like he was dating his homie's daughter, you know, because it oh, kind of yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. And I think when they first started talking, like, they were both, like, seeing other people and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So, I don't think it was, like, his whole plan to, like, oh, be okay, cool okay. with the yeah. dad first and stuff like that. But, you know, pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like it would be easy. I feel like, well, your, your dad has, like, sons, you know? Mm-hmm. So, I don't really feel like he wants, like, I don't think it would be, I think it would be harder, you know? Because also I am his only daughter. Yeah. But I was mm. telling Daniela, I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure your dad wants a son. I mean, I'm pretty sure every dad would want at least one son. Yeah. Now, right? Yeah. Oh, I always tell Daniela that I'm like, damn, dude, your dad probably really <laughs> wants a son. Well, she will have to give him a grandson. I don't know, but her parents look pretty young. Maybe they can still have a son. Yeah. Huh. The age gap, though? Of what? Oh, if they were to have another kid. Dude, I was I was seeing and like they have a little sister that's actually younger than I thought. Yeah, she's um She's like in what like a teen, huh? Like a low teen? Like a twelve or something? Twelve or thirteen, I think. That's like really young. I thought she was like older. Really? Yeah. And uh, I've always Cause that age gap is like because what it's that, not that much. Then he last twenty three, the other girl's nineteen. So I was thinking the other girl was gonna be like fifteen or something. Okay, I can see. You know? Yeah. So that that's like an age gap. Mm-hmm. Um and I'm like, oh tell your dad have a son. <laughs> Tus amigas me voy a ganar. That's because you know, as I don't know if it's a guy like a guy thing too, right? As a girl, like you tell your friends everything, right? And the they could tell when the guy gives like bad vibes. They'll tell you all oh, red flag. What do you think about that? I think you're just saying that because you're not in that position. Uh, <laughs> but like once you are, you're probably gonna be like, hey, why are you being so nice to her? Or something like that. You're probably going to get jealous. Why would I get jealous? Because I've seen it happen before. With who? Like, um... Uh, well, I'm not going to say who. But, like, <laughs> but like, um, like... Like, I feel like... Well, maybe not everyone, right? But, like, some girls would get jealous. Oh, like, because are, they're but, going with the boyfriend instead of hanging out with the friends? Type of jealous? Or what jealous are you talking about? I'm talking about... Because you know how she said, Voy a ganar a tus amigas? Oh, I don't know. I was thinking, like... Oh, maybe I'm thinking about it wrong, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but, um... Just how we're talking about, like, we said, compa tu papa, right? Like, get along good with your dad. That's why. Right. Like, I feel like sometimes girls, I've, or girls' girlfriends get jealous if the boyfriend is, like, really friendly with her homegirls. Okay, but that's, there's a difference between being really friendly and being nice to them, you know? Like, like, oh, it's hard to explain. It's just that, obviously, you want you want him to get along with your friends, too, because, like, I guess, being, you know? Not too friendly, obviously, like, not in that way. It's just, like, how you want them, que le caiga bien a tus parents, type of, same situation. I don't know. I, I really wouldn't care if, um, I don't know, because I feel like as a guy, mm-hmm. I wouldn't really care if my homies thought 
like my girlfriend or I wouldn't really care if my homegirls liked my girlfriend at all. Liked in what way? Like, like them, like, que les caiga bien or something, okay. you know? uh-huh. Like, I, I feel like, I, or maybe, I don't know if it's a guy thing or a me thing, but I wouldn't, um, I that know. wouldn't even be a, Might be a, a factor. Guy thing. Girls, think about this. I, I mean, I, I've thought about it. Really? So, yeah. Damn. Nah, I feel like that, I feel like that's just, um. It's kind of like, have you ever heard, um, Wanna Be by Spice Girls? No. When she says, if you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. Nothing lasts forever. Friendship never ends. Cause at the end of the day, you don't want to fight with your friends. Like, are you gonna be choosing the guy over your friends? Some um, girls do that, but depends on the situation. Yeah, cause I feel like at the end of the day, you know, your significant mm-hmm. other is who you're gonna spend the rest of your life with, and your friends are gonna build their own lives eventually. So, mm-hmm. so now you're gonna be friends with them for you know, together and that goes forever. Depends, yeah. I mean, it really depends, yeah, on the situation, I would say. Yeah. Well, let's continue. I think it was a really good song. What do you think? Yeah. Very upbeat. I've never heard. Um, apparently she's a Brazilian singer and songwriter. Michelle? Yeah. I didn't even know if it was Michael first or... But yeah, Michelle Maciel. Michelle. And she's a Brazilian. Pretty good. Nice. This awesome. is the first time I'm hearing from her too. Amazing. Amazing song, guys. Oh, apparently um, the song was first by her, Michelle and... Oh, Evan that's why Nunez, it's a remix. And uh, Panther Bellico got added onto it. Mm-hmm. 